my name is Kayla and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using the 35i Ice Fantasy Palette to make this look here and if you want to see this look just keep watching. Alright so I started today by doing my base makeup because I was trying out a few different products to see if I liked them or not. One of them is another Essence eyebrow pencil because I was so disappointed by the last one and I wanted to see if I could find another cheap good one and this time I used the Micro Precise eyebrow pencil in the shade Dark Brown and it was three dollars and honestly it works pretty great. It's a little bit dark and harder to use because it's a precise brow product so you'd normally like line it and use it as a precision type thing but I used it for my whole eyebrow and I really liked the way it turned out so that's a plus side. New Essence products that I like. Another one is the NARS Orgasm Blush. Finally got to try it out. Uh, this is going to be the second time I'm using it and it looks cute. It's uh, more shimmery than I would normally use. But I like it because it almost looks like a blush and a highlight at the same time and I just like build on to that shimmery part of it to make a nice more natural look. So I really like it. It's not like super my cup of tea because I'm more of like just a peachy orangey matte blush kind of person but I really like it. Also for my foundation I used the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color Warm Nude. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about this foundation. I'm not wowed. I still like my Huda foundation way better because it makes my skin look better. It doesn't look horrible but I didn't really like the way that it went on. It got a little bit patchy in between my eyebrow area so I had to use extra concealer to fix that and then other than that it doesn't cover as much as my Huda foundation does. So today I'm going to be using the 35i Ice Fantasy palette. The packaging is gorgeous and I'm actually so obsessed with this palette like I used it once already and it's just like it's perfect. It really is for any kind of light look and even if you're not doing like a fully light look you can use a lot of these to buff out and blend colors in other palettes so i think this is definitely a need in a, in somebody's collection because not only that but like the shimmers in it are so pretty and that's a pressed glitter i haven't got to use it yet but so pretty very summery very springy like nice light makeup i did one the other day and it turned out really nicely i used the shades wishful chill thrill into the blue and deliver shiver for like like a little ombre kind of look and it turned out really nicely so today i want to do another pastel kind of look because i liked it so much and i just wanted to show you guys how cool and how good they were definitely a neat and it's only 25 dollars. like it's not that much and it's like really nice for how much it is i recommend 100%. Lately, instead of my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly, I've been using the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. And it's not as good as the MAC Paint Pot, but it's getting the job done and I'd like to continue using it to see if it's a, like a little kind of a dupe thing. So I think I'm going to go in with one on one eye and one on the other. So I'm going to use the Paint Pot on this side and the e.l.f. Putty Primer on this side. And I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Primer in the shade Cream because that's the one that goes with my skin tone the best. What I have noticed is it's a little bit drier than the MAC Paint Pot, but I haven't had any issues really while using it. Normally I don't like to do my face makeup first, I usually like to do my eye makeup first, but with pastel and like light kind of looks, I think that um, this is perfectly fine because I'll end up blending out a lot on the edges anyways, which will go past the line where I would normally go. Yeah, right off the bat, the MAC one is so much more creamy and way less dry, easier to blend out. The e.l.f. one isn't bad, it's just not up to the same standard. I've been using the e.l.f. one for about a week now, I think, and I definitely missed my normal one. As you can see, they're a slightly different color, like the MAC one's a little bit lighter and I think it's a little bit more pink than the other one, but that shouldn't cause much issue. I haven't really decided what color look I'm gonna do. I think I want to do like a yellow coral pinky kind of look and I kind of want to throw a shimmer in there. Undecided though. With the last time that I used this palette I found that the Morphe 
M574 brush, this one, worked really nicely. So what I did last time is I took the colors and I placed one like here and just kept blending outwards. I didn't do like a crease and then like cut crease kind of look. Uh, just because I want to keep it super simple and that's always something you can do for a summary kind of look because it's super easy it doesn't take a lot of time and you can just use the one brush as long as you keep the brush clean all right so I'm going to start with that same brush that I was just talking about the Morphe M574 brush and I'm going to go into wishful again and I'm just going to start in the inner part of my eye they do have a lot of fallout so keep that in mind but they're so light that you don't need to tap off a lot of excess because you kind of want to keep that color in there i'm just going to start with that in my inner little part of my eye and just build it up until it's where i want it to be i'm not going to blend it up and out yet i think it's going to take a different color to do that but as you can see you can already see it it's a very cute color it's like a springy kind of green yellow color it lays down super nicely. It's not like super bright, but it's a very pretty color. Like it's not a super vibrant yellow, but this is exactly what I'm using it for. And I think when I blend it out with a little bit of a corally orange kind of color, it'll get more yellow instead of green. I'm gonna continue using that same brush and I'm gonna go into the color Coral Cloud to continue blending out. I'm just gonna place that right next to it and pat Again, not really tapping off the brush because I want to keep all that pigment. I really love how light it is. Like, I didn't know until I got this palette and used it how much I needed it and love it. Oh, gosh, it's just so easy to blend light colors. Oh, I'm so impressed by it. Kind of just patting it and moving it in towards that yellower color. So a difference that I can see right now is this side is a little bit darker in color than this one is, but this one's easier to blend over that base. There's so much fallout in the palette. Not sure if that bothers you guys. It doesn't really bother me because I just blow it away or I use it as I go. I know some people don't like that. The next color I'm going into is the color Sky High, which sounds like it should be kind of like a blue color but it's this color here it's like a pastel -y red kind of pinky color just continuing that outwards it's a very pretty color it almost reminds me of like sherbet i realize that it's probably not summertime weather where most people are right now but i live in florida so it's like summertime pretty much all the time and it's been getting a lot warmer kind of i mean there, there was two cold days but it's been getting warmer so now I'm going to take my Morphe M433 brush, looks like that, and I'm going to go into the shade Whiteout and just blend out the edges just so that it's not a harsh line and it blends up to the brow bone nicely. This side's still blending out so much more easy than the other side. I kind of want to go in with one of these like pastel -y neon purple colors. So I'm going to take the shade Dreamer on that same brush I was using before and just tap it off. Just I just want a little bit of purple. Just on the very outer edge. I'm not trying to make it like huge or anything. For anybody who doesn't know me in real life, I absolutely love purple. So I had to put a purple shade in there. On that note, I'm super excited that I'm getting the Bloodlust collection. And I'll be reviewing that and doing a whole bunch of looks. I'm so excited from what I've seen of that palette. Oh, it's gorgeous. And it's not just a purple palette. Like, there's other colors and so many looks can be done with that. And so excited. Nobody will ever understand how excited I am about this. Because I am a purple person. And purple people, if you know, you know. Purple. And then I've put that little purple in there. I'm going to go ahead and blend with the white again. I really like that this has a matte white in it. It's not the most pigmented white, but um, I don't mind because I don't use it as like a white, I just use it as a blending color. I kind of want to use a shimmer, but I don't know where I'd put it. I could put it on the inner corner. I'm gonna go in with the shade Mystical and just put it over the top of the inner corner in here. Not like the full inner corner, but like just on the lid. It's a gorgeous green shade. 
and I'm not going in with any primer or anything like that. It looks like it's more of a glitter than a shimmer shade. It's more subtle. If I went in with like a glitter base and everything, maybe it would be a little bit more vibrant, but I'm not really going for that right now. Ooh, I think I'm gonna continue that little glitter vibe thing that I've got going on into the other colors as well. So now I'm gonna take Soar, which is an orangey color. Same kind of concept. I'm gonna try to put it over the orange. Oh, oh, that's not working. Oh, that's not working at all. Oh, oh, that's so weird. Um, yeah, that's not doing anything at all. It's just taking off the orange that I already laid down. That's kind of weird. Oh yeah, it's not even the same like formula as the other one is. It's more of a shimmer shade, but it's kind of harder to use. Like you gotta kind of press down to use it. So I'm not gonna be using that. All right, so half of them are kind of like that and half of them are like the green one is. So I'm just gonna continue with the green because the orange one is not the same formula at all. Gives it a nice little shimmer. All right, so for my brow bone highlight, I'm going in with, with the shade Spellbinding. And it's this purple shimmery shade. And I just swatched it on my hand and, ooh, that is, look at that. Just one little, oh, so nice. I was not expecting it to look like that when I just swatched it. I actually meant to swatch the thing that was next to it and I accidentally swatched this one and I was like, oh, like, okay, do you see that? That is so pretty. For the underneath, I'm just gonna take those same colors and I'm going to go underneath and then blend it out with the white again. I really love how versatile this palette is. Like there are so many colors and you could do so many things with it. I think I'm gonna be reaching for this a lot. I decided to take a little bit of the shade Euphoria and put it on top of my highlight because it looks like it would be gorgeous. And it most certainly is, oh my gosh. That shade Euphoria is so good like so good i almost wish i did a more complicated look because this the shade is just too much for this look but mm, so pretty i'm gonna take that same shade and i'm gonna put it on the inner corner i'm also gonna take that spellbinding purple shade and put it here too just so it matches there's so many things you could do with this palette there are such good shades in this palette and I can't use them with this look, but I just, I want to use so many. I'm going to take my Essence Clear Brow Gel and I'm going to go ahead and set my brows. So I'm just going to curl my lashes and go in with my favorite mascara, the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara. I'm featured on their website underneath this product if you want to check it out. I'll link it in the description. The difference this mascara makes is just insane. I know I always talk about it, but it is such a pretty mascara. I'd like to say that this look is very good for people who are afraid to use a lot of color or just starting out because as you can see it's very light and it's very easy to blend out these these kinds of colors because they're so light and if you mess up you can just keep going and it's not noticeable so if you want to start small definitely pastels is the way to go. I really love the way this turned out like way more than most of my other makeup looks like it's very simple it's very easy to do very it's not very time consuming especially on a day where I have a lot to do because I tend to be a very busy person, so I don't usually have a lot of free time. That's why I'm filming again on a Tuesday, the day before I have to upload my video. For my waterline, I'm gonna go in with the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Silky Nude. I actually did a full face of Essence makeup. Some of that stuff I used again today if you would like to see more about that. If you'd like to watch that, I'm gonna link that down in the description. Some of these products very pleasantly surprised me. The difference that makes is just so nice, especially in pictures. All right, so now that I'm done, this and this, I'm gonna say that this one's uh, much better. This one's not bad and it worked fine it did make the colors a little bit darker than it would on this side uh, but I like this one way more because it's creamier it's not as dry and it's easier to blend on top of but for five dollars this is definitely where it's at you know 
because like it's cheap it's easy it makes the colors there it's not it doesn't make it patchy or anything like that so it's definitely a good drugstore eye primer it's just not my favorite but now this palette I know I kept saying it throughout the video but like I really am so obsessed with this palette um oh the black's purple I had no idea the packaging the outside even the box packaging it's beautiful all of the colors in here are beautiful I did have a little bit of trouble with that sore shade that I was trying to put to continue the little glitter it did take up a lot of that orange shade that I put down so I stopped trying to use it it looks like that shade's not gonna be for me maybe I need to use it in a different way and find out how it works best but the rest of the other shades that I used, I absolutely loved that Euphoria for the brow um, highlight. Like, do you see that? It's insane. Love it so much. And I will con be continuing to use this over and over and over and over again, probably. I'm going to take two different sprays today to set my face. I'm going to take the Watermelon Prep and Prime from MAC and the Cover FX. As soon as I shake it a lot, because if you watch my videos, you know. I'd also like to add that along with the Bloodlust collection, I did get the mirror, the crown mirror. So we will be upgrading from this one to the crown one soon. Very excited about that so I don't have to be Halloween themed for the rest of my life. With the Jeffree Star highlighters, something I like to do is uh, match the Skin Frost color with the Supreme Frost color because the Skin Frost is more of a sh like shine and the supreme frost is more of a glitter so i use the shine and then i like to top it with a glitter by like tapping the glitter on the top just to make it that much more highlighty not just with his but like his supreme frost they're all glitter glitter so i use those to top my actual highlight just to make that glitter like pop out because i really like glitter highlights that's why i'm so excited for the bloodless collection because that purple extreme frost yes my makeup collection is getting quite large these days if you want to see a makeup collection video or how I organize my makeup video I was planning on doing one but if you'd like to see one soon I could do that I might do it after the bloodless collection comes in as always, thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate your support so much. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it and comment down below what you liked most about it or what you'd like to see more of. And give me a subscribe and ring my bell for notifications on my upcoming videos. I do post every Wednesday, so I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye. So I actually completely forgot to do my lips and I think I wanna do a dark purple. So I'm gonna use my Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Zombie Kiss which is from the Halloween mystery boxes, the ex one of the exclusive shades. And I'll also be using Purple Urkel, which I also got in the mystery box, but it's not like an exclusive. I'm gonna line my lip first with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Scorpio. The packaging on these is like so cute. So I'm gonna use the Velour Lip Scrub in the Scent Cucumber Mint. I'm only using this because my lips are a little dry. All right, so I know that this lip combo doesn't match my outfit or my eye makeup or anything really, but I think it goes nicely with that slight purple. And like I said before, I'm a purple person and I haven't used uh, the Jeffree Star lipsticks in a little while. I have a bajillion of them. So just a little side note, I think that this look looks so much better with this purple lip. Like, look at this lip, are you kidding?